the Galway Plate Chase will kick me off for day three. It's a Grade Two event. And lots of returning horses in this. Two miles and six furlongs. And at the top, we've got Gold Coast for Kevin Meehan, and Lord Decoy for Padre Hogan. Pay the Ghostly on Van Rensburg. Echo Bell, Alex Chimmy, Lady Ravenna. Padre Hogan, Lo Los Angeles, oh, Paul Rhodes, Mallorca, David Hooley, Queen Consort, Daniel French, Road to Stardom, Leon Van Rensburg, Saxon, and David Robertson, Velvet Curtain, Martin Lidham, Velvet Top, Graham Clitterbuck, and Wells of Zankara for Darren Thompson. So, Grade 2, returning horses, two entries allowed in these races, of course. Oh, just the maidens are only allowed one, and away we go. And racing, a very short one to the first, which they're all successfully to the other side of. And currently being led by Gold Coast. Oh, Kevin Meenham leads by a length or so. Velvet Curtain being driven up into second as they get over the second of the 18 fences that they've got to negotiate in this one. And Gold Coast is bowling along in the lead by two lengths. At the third, Velvet Curtain over it nicely in second. Third is the purple jacketed Mallorca. Closest to us, Alex Cherry's Echo Bell, rider on the far side. We've got Darren Thompson's Wells of Zankara. Then the two Padre Hogan horses are really close together. Lord Decoy and Lady Ravenna as they get to the fifth. Oh, the fence is going up thick and fast, and then all jumping them nicely at the moment. Pay the Ghost, just the back marker and the Leon van Rensburg blue with the gold cap. But Velvet Curtain has now come to join Gold Coast. They dispute the lead. Gap off three or four lengths, then back to Wells of Zankara, who's now third. Mallorca is in fourth, and Echo Bell on the two Padre Hogan horses together as they get over the sixth. And Queen Consort now dropped towards the back. And Gold Coast and Velvet Curtain continue over the seventh. Matching strides over that one, Velvet Curtain now just in front, but Gold Coast fighting back and regaining the lead as they race down towards the next one well, inside the final two miles now that's the eighth and they're all safely over that one or two slow jumps towards the back the two Leon Van Rensburg horses both slow over that one and struggling towards the rear with Queen Consort as they get over the ninth so they're all safely over and Velvet Curtain is in the lead Coming up to pass the winning post now. The complete circuit of cool way to go. And Gold Coast and Velvet Curtain are one and two. Gap of about four lengths then back to Wells of Zankara is third. Mallorca is four and Echo Bell is five and then Lady Ravenna is six and Lord Decoy is seven and Los Angeles is eight and then Saxon nine and then Velvet Top and Pay the Ghost and Road to Stardom and finally Queen's Consort is just the back marker. They make their way towards the next longish run to this next fence. And Gold Coast is leading by about three quarters of a length. To Velvet Curtain second. Wells of Zankara still third, then Mallorca fourth. Front four. Haven't really changed all yet in this one, apart from Velvet Curtain taking the lead briefly. Echo Bell still going well in fifth. Chasing pack ahead by the two Padre Hogan horses in the yellow. Echo Bell was a bit slow over that one. Good jump though by Mallorca. We've seen that one move up alongside Velvet Curtain. So a definite leading group of four now as they get to the 11th. Oh, a slow jump there from Wells of Zankara. We've seen that one just drop back a bit. The grey Los Angeles is making a little bit of forward progress. But it's still Gold Coast in front from Mallorca and Velvet Curtain on the inside as they get over that Velvet Curtain jump that one slowly and maybe that one is beginning to tie up Saxon's also lost its place and dropped towards the back Velvet Curtain jumped that small ditch really well though and is now back up in contention with Gold Coast and Mallorca Wells of Zankara has been passed by Lord Decoy but is now getting a bit of a second wind as a leading group of five now and it's Gold Coast was putting the lead pretty much all the way. The Velvet Curtain chasing again in second. Mallorca back in third. Lord Decoy and Wells of Zankara sheer fourth. Gap then to Los Angeles, who's still in contention. And another bit of a gap to Velvet Top Road to Stardom's making a forward move. Echo Bell's lost its place as they get over that ditch. 
which they're all safely over. Saxon's starting to run on again. Pay the Ghost is really struggling, and Queen's Consort is tailed off. But it's Lord Decoy who's now come right through to take it up. Lord Decoy takes it up over the 16. Just two more to go. Velvet Curtain made a bad mistake, and he's now out of it. But it's Lord Decoy in the lead from Gold Coast in second. Mallorca back in third. Road to stardom is now coming through on the outside. Wells of Zankara sticking on. They've still got two to go over the second last they go. And now all of a sudden, it's all changes. Road to stardom for Leon Van Rensburg comes through the challenge. Mallorca is, though, battling on the inside and looks the stronger at the moment. Gold Coast is trying to stick on over the final fight. Fence they go. And it's Mallorca and Gold Coast. Mallorca is a good couple of lengths clear and looks like he's probably going to take this one as they race up towards the final half furlong. It's difficult to see anything get into this Mallorca now. Gold Coast has got nothing left and up towards the line. Mallorca is going to take it from Gold Coast second then Road to start on Lady Ravenna and then Lord Decoy Wells of Zankar after that one. And all the way back to Gold Queen's Consort who I don't think passed the horse in the race. But it's a win for David Hooley and Mallorca. Gold Coast to Gallant second. Let's get a full list. Um, Mallorca takes it for David Hooley. Gold Coast is second for Kevin Minahan. Lady Ravenna for Padraig Hogan was third. Road to stardom, Leon Van Rensburg fourth. Uh, Lord Decoy for Padraig Hogan again was fifth. <laughs>